ABC Studios in New York. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight, animal expert Garrett Miller. Granny Award winning musician Ozzy Osbourne. And musical guest Trey Atkins. With Matt Weinberg and Matt Weinberg 7. It just sounds scary at the end. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like I'm up on 103rd Street or something late at night. It's all going badly. No, no. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. We've got a great show tonight, huh, Max? Yes, we do. Boy. All right. <laughs> you read that off a cue card so well. <laughs> As long as it's really big letters, <laughs> I, I can read. How are you, Max? Uh, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got a good show. We, we're back yeah. in style. We got a fine one tonight. Mm-hmm. Excellent program. Yeah. And uh, got one believer here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I have 200 people in the audience. One guy, all right. <laughs> Everyone else, odds are against it. <laughs> I've seen this show. No, we have an excellent program tonight. And what uh, better way to start the show than by discussing the Michael Jackson trial? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should, right? I'm following Leno, so i got to at least mention it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We have much, much to talk about. We have to discuss this. It's getting... St- if it's possible, you always think with this trial, it's, that's it. It couldn't get stranger. Then you tune in the next day, and it's absolute madness. Well, yesterday, here's the latest at the Michael Jackson trial. Michael showed up late again, and then he broke down crying. At one point. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, people close to Michael say he hasn't been this upset since they canceled the Wonder Years. (laughs) He showed up with a magician yesterday. Did you know that? He showed up with his personal magician. (laughs) He does stuff now, and you're just like, yeah, right. That's what Michael Jackson would do. (laughs) Dressed as a spaceman, whatever. (laughs) New York Post says that Chelsea Clinton got so drunk the other night at a New York bar, she had to be helped outside by the bouncer. Yeah! Yeah. 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 Yeah, afterwards, Chelsea said, I'm sorry, but I'm really competitive with the Bush twins. (laughs) This is weird. In Wisconsin, a 63-year-old man was charged with sexual gratification with an animal for allegedly having sex with cows. Yeah. Yeah, if convicted, the Wisconsin man could be deported to West Virginia. <laughs> Where? Apparently that's on the license plate there. <laughs> we don't have... Do we have an affiliate there? Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding around, West Virginia. <laughs> Wing. <laughs> I'm not answering that mail. Like, there'll be mail. <laughs> you know, it was... Uh, <laughs> There'll be mail? Oh, good. Producer's happy. You know, it was, re- it was reported today, check this out, it was reported today that Star Jones' husband, Al Reynolds, recently quit his job. Yeah. Yeah, when asked why, Reynolds said, because when I bring home the bacon, I don't get to have any. Thank you. It just turned into Parliament here all of a sudden. I love that. Oh, yeah. And then I got to mention this. This is why I, I love this. According to the uh, New York Post, the manager of the village people is trying to recreate. <laughs> they have a manager. 
crowd is laughing at the setup. The manager of the village people. <laughs> the manager of the village people is trying to recreate the band's image so they appear less gay. Yeah, apparently, apparently he's gonna change he's gonna do this by changing their name to not the village people. That's their new name for now. for the monologue. No one does that when they tell jokes up front, but I'm gonna start doing it. Just it's like that guy in the OC who's always turning around. That actor turns his body so he can turn his head around. All right, we have a... We got a great show tonight. Fantastic program. Animal expert on tonight. He's unlike other animal experts. He's largely untrained. He's way too young to be doing it. The animals often get loose. I think uh, over the years, many people have been killed through these segments. Uh, so it's always fun. Yeah, if you've got a death wish, animal expert Jared Miller is here. We have a good friend of ours, a uh, gentleman who's been coming on the show, what, years and years and years, Grammy Award winning musician. We love him, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. And then music guest tonight, Trace Adkins on the program. This is it. Turn over to Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg. Max? Go ahead. Someone's busting out the Christina Aguilera all of a sudden. Yeah, Christina. What's yeah. next? <laughs> yeah, she's hot. Oh. <laughs> Max, isn't she 19 or something? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Explain that to the wife when you get home. All right, we <laughs> have... We have, you know, I can tell when we've been on a break. We just had a couple of days off, and I can tell because I'm backstage, and you're, you have a pep to your drumming that you can tell you've had a week off because you're putting in all these fills and everything everywhere. You know what I mean? You're just playing yeah. the opening theme every night, and but you, I, am I right? There yeah, were extra right. fills in there. You're yeah, throwing in I, extra stuff. And I got it, was, it right tonight. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. good job on the opening. You've done 2,034 <laughs> times. I'm still working on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. I, I noticed yes. the pep. Eight There's weeks pep. from now, you'll just be like. Boom. Tap, boom, tap, boom, tap. But now you got some zim, some zip. You're playing some Christina Aguilera. It's all going our way. Yeah. All right, then. It's all going our way. Stick around. Stick around. We got a cork at tonight. We got a good show. I want to talk about one thing before we get going, which is, uh, I don't know if you've heard this. It's, uh, it happened, I guess, maybe over the weekend or Monday, but uh, Pat O'Brien, the host of The Insider, that guy, there he is. We always have a picture of him around. Anyway, uh... We just had that picture. <laughs> anyway, Pat O'Brien uh, is uh, checked himself, I guess, into rehab uh, for some problems with alcohol. And, you know, that happens to, to celebrities, uh, you know, from time to time. Uh, but the problem is that the story is being covered in all the papers. And I've been getting a lot of calls from people because a lot of headlines, they just sort of shorten the information. This is the headline, and, and, and the headlines are a little vague. This was in today's Newsday. Look at that. It says, TV host O'Brien enters alcohol rehab. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> and then there's been... And then if you read the article, you see it's Pat O'Brien. But apparently on some of the news stations are like, you know, tune in a little bit. Host O'Brien, wacko on booze. <laughs> and people just hear that. And then I've been actually getting calls from people who then didn't listen to the rest of the story. Finally, like, man, I knew you hit it hard, but... Because <laughs> I knew... <laughs> But anyway, and um, so that was in today's, you know. But then some of these headlines are, are getting even worse. Check out this one right here. Too many late nights send O'Brien to rehab. 
Then look at this one right here. This is actually worse, I believe. O'Brien. <laughs> this is in the post. O'Brien. I'm a. <laughs> It says, I'm a, it says, I'm a stinking drunk. And then look at the caption underneath the photo. Conan O'Brien hears news of Pat O'Brien. <laughs> Good show tonight.